So McLaren have launched their 2021 Challenger, the MCL 35M, running this with the brand new driver of Daniel Ricciardo coming in from Renault after a two year stint replacing Carlos Sainz, who of course is going to Ferrari. Lando Norris remains for a third season. Now, we were all very excited for this one. You know, it's the first car launch of the year, the one that we are all waiting to see. Now, 2021 is, of course, going to be a different year when it comes to car launches because we know that the new regulations were supposed to be coming into play this year. However, because of the coronavirus pandemic, they weren't able to do that, so they pushed it back for another year. And when they confirmed this, they pretty much said that there will be a very little development will be made to these cars. So really, these are just going to be a B-spec car to the 2020 cars. However, there was a lot of anticipation with McLarens was because, they, of course, they have got the brand new Mercedes-Benz engine in the back of the car for the first time since 2014, replacing Renault Power. So I had to make some adjustments to the rear, and that's what they've done under FIA regulations. So they're going to have make they're going to make more work to the car than the other teams. So those of you that do have a key eye on any aero, on any aero parts, or you know your way around a Formula One car, you're going to see some differences. But when I first seen the car. First day of all, I was a bit like, it is pretty much the exact same to last year. So, I've got a picture of it here. There she is in the glory. Of course, like I said, a very, very similar livery. There's more blue to it, I think, at the very front of the nose. This uh, It's a very similar nose to what they ran um, towards the end of 2020. Uh, the start of a very skinny nose and kind of make it more Mercedes-esque, if you know what I mean, with sort of the circular tip compared to more of a square tip. I think it was like more of a pointy tip um to what they started with anyway so this is a side shot uh, i've got here so if anyone has got any differences that you know about for me i can't really see any as as such i know that there is more uh there isn't as much uh space at the at the rear of the car like i said there has been some adjustment adjustments so we can see here the one on your left is the 2020 car and the one on the right is the 2021 car now livery wise like i said it's very very similar which we all pretty much expect them but like i said there is more blue you've got the quarter caller added on there just right next to, to the driver cockpit as well there's more uh towards just at the bottom of the halo uh, halo there there seems to be more of a, a cooling thing as well so that might be something to do with mercedes engine being involved there like i said there's nothing there on last year's car well this is like a rendered mo model anyway this is of course will be a rendered model model as well I th you can tell there is a slight difference there is more of an arch in the rear i think anyway now here's a front image of the 2021 car. Now at the front there's a more a lot going with that nose cone as well. I think that's something that McLaren added on to towards the end of 2020. Of course, researching parts for 2021. And at the very front of the nose cone, I noticed that, that there is a difference because the, the prong things at the, at the bottom that keep the front wing together, they've kind of come inwards very, like I said, uh, just before as well very similar to what mercedes ran as well so that, of course better airflow to the rear of the car so i'm assuming that of course they were tr trying to go down the mercedes kind of aerodynamics route looking at what they're doing and kind of copy it doing it doing their own way because of the, of the engine I, I would believe as well because obviously with, the, with with the power and, st and stuff like that so that's what i've noticed is a bit different as well but overall it is very very similar which we all expected livery wise yeah, I mean, there is not a lot going on as well. There is a, a bit, a bit of difference to the floor. There is less floor this year than it is to last year as well, which is an, an one of the key things that was changed from 2020 into 2021. Um, but overall, I mean, it's all right to be to be perfectly honest. As a McLaren fan, as you can see, I wasn't a fan. I wasn't a massive fan of this livery, but it it, it did grow as as the season went on. Now they've kept it the same. It's like, yeah, that's that's fine by me. There's been worse liveries, trust me. There has been a lot a lot uh, worse liveries, but thankfully they've kept it sweet. They've kept it cool, so I'm more than happy to go with this one as well. And I was actually just saying before, um, I'm pleased that there's actually more sponsors on the car and on the team overalls. When you think back to the Honda days, even the start of the Renault days, how lack the how naked the car looked compared to what it does now it's it's incredible the more sponsors on the car the better it looks and mclaren have done extraordinary work to get to, to get to this position where they are now so that is the mcl 35 and what do you guys think of it let us know in the comment section below do you like it don't you like it do you see anything else that maybe i've missed because there's probably lots of things that i've missed on this i'm not uh, i'm not really key or i don't know a lot of stuff when it comes to things like this but there has one or two things that has caught my eye so of course, if you do see anything else, let us know in the comment section below. And what did you, what did you think of the car launch as well? You know, Daniel and Lando playing a bit of music. I mean, it was all right. Better than Ferraris, to be perfectly honest. 
compared to last year. That was a bit weird. So the next scheduled car launch is on Friday. So of course we'll be there to go through it, talk, giving our opinions on that car when that car does eventually drop online. But guys, thank you so much for watching as well. Watch what you're doing. Stay safe as always. And until next time, we'll see you later.